Hey everybody, what's happening? Jay Vix, JVI Mobile Marketing, uh, with a how-to.agency tutorial Tuesday video. Uh, what I've decided to do during this series is actually take people through the eight-stage, one-page marketing plan. Sometimes we refer to it as the one-page, eight-stage marketing plan. Either way, one page, eight stages, right? And uh, what those stages make up in this marketing plan is the customer value journey. So the customer journey is how we take people, and I'm going to try to do this reverse, how we take people from strangers all the way to raving fame, right? And each video, I'm going to break down what I uh, some thoughts on each stage of the customer value journey. The very first stage in the customer value journey is the aware stage. This is the awareness. This is how people find out you exist. This is how... Um, this is where the strangers see you for the first time. And there's a couple ways to look at this. I'm going to break it down into two types. There's organic and there's paid, right? So paid traffic is the easiest way in the world to drive eyeballs to your content, your site, your products, right? Um, I've heard it said recently and, and many times that uh, nobody has a traffic problem. You can spend money and buy all the traffic in the world. Organic is a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to tell you a couple of ideas of how we find organic traffic. And then I'm really going to break down paid traffic in, in about five seconds time. So I've wrote down, I, I have my notes here on my rocket book. I've wrote down a few of the ways uh, where you can have people find you organically. Right? One is if you have a really good SEO game. That means if your website is optimized for user searches online at places like Google or Bing or Yahoo or any of the, the directories, that your search would come up in the search results. It takes a long time and a lot of effort and a lot of work. But again, if you nail it, you're going to have all the traffic you could ever want organically. The next is what we all try to do for traffic these days, and that is posting on social media. Right? So whether it's Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter or LinkedIn, uh, this is a, a really good way to get uh, some, uh, some traffic organically to your site. A third would be blogging platforms like Medium. Right? If, you have, if you have a blog post or piece of content you want to put up, put it out on someplace like Medium. Another way that you can get content put out on a platform uh, would be to send out press releases. So taking that longer form content, whether it's about your business or whether it's about a topic and blogging or release press releases, those are, those are some good ways to get some, some distribution. Uh, there's also answer sites like Quora. Quora is one. Q-U-O-R-A, Quora.com. Go on to Quora, type in your keywords, and see what people are asking about that particular topic and answer them. That is a good way to drive people back to your site because you can put a little link in there, a link about yourself. Don't try to sell anybody. Don't pitch. Answer the question, but make sure that there's a way for them to get a hold of you. Uh, two more. One is referrals. If you are part of a networking group or you don't mind getting out of your comfort zone and going and talking to people, we love it. Referrals are a huge traffic source for us. Get out there and, and let people know who you are and what you do. And remember, givers gain. The more you give, the more you'll gain. And lastly, please be asking your customers to leave you reviews and feedback. Everybody's looking at reviews. Right? We use a couple of sites that we enjoy getting reviews on, but if all else fails, I just did a presentation on this earlier today. Google is your friend. Get as many Google reviews as you can. It will help you in so many different areas of your business. That covers all the organic traffic talk for today. The other option to get traffic to your site is paid traffic. We like to refer to it as the big four, but it's really the big two. We have Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube. Buy ads on these platforms. Of course, you have to get your targeting right. You have to have your audience right. We do a whole nother thing on the customer avatar. If that audience is right and you know what people are searching for, 
all the traffic in the world is yours if you just open your wallet a little bit and, and spend some money, invest some money into that. The reason why I said that four becomes two is that Facebook owns Instagram, Google owns YouTube. So uh, really you can run your Facebook Instagram ads, you can also run Google YouTube ads. Uh, so whether you wanna do them separately or just in there as a, as a bucket on either side, that takes care of that. Have a great day.